Now, this one, not confirmed at this point, but uh, reports are saying, I hope, that ultra-liberal, race-obsessed MSNBC host No Joy Reid may be losing her 7 p.m. show in the spring uh, in honor of this report. Let's take a look at some of her greatest hits. This country was built on the idea of, of that white men had a, a, a particular kind of freedom and a particular kind of citizenship that only they have. Right-wing evangelical Christian, what they call Christianity, and they're going to force the rest of us to live under those rules. That is no different than Talibanism. White Americans are never afraid of the cops, even when they're committing insurrection, even when they're engaged in attempting to occupy our capital to steal the votes of people who look like me. What a loss it would be if, if these reports are true, wouldn't it be? <laughs> well, I mean, it's long overdue, but I doubt that it's really going to happen. I wonder if this is a deliberate trial balloon to see if they can rally leftist support for her, you know, her show. Because basically, if it's on, on MSNBC or CNN, by and large, people are not watching. So and when you see her show, the only people we can get to watch are the people we pay to watch. It's horrendous. <laughs> All right. And finally, uh, here in New York, New York City's latest push left over from the de Blasio era, vending machines um, that can distribute clean needles and naloxone, uh, the drug that reverses overdoses. This follows New York City's installation of safe drug dens where abusers can go and shoot up safely. Uh, what, what, what have we come to? Well, I mean, this is this is why basically all the major cities in the country pretty much are run by one political party. The media don't want to talk about what a disaster that has been. Uh, Baltimore, where I grew up, has been run by Democrats since 1967, and it's been run into the ground. Again, they don't dare talk about the rise in crime, the rise in homicide, and basically the open-air drug markets and open-air you know, and, and endless homeless problem. These are all problems of one political party the media don't want to tell you. Instead, it just keeps getting worse. And all you can do is move out if you live there. I want to go back to the good old days when I went to the vending machine for like a Twinkie, you know what I mean? Or some cupcakes, M&M peanuts, the little crackers with peanut butter in it. Like, now we're doing drugs and needles. It's, it's, we're in bizarro land, that's for sure. Vice President of Media Research Center, Dan Gaynor, thank you so much for joining us tonight, brother. Thank you, and Happy New Year. All righty. Uh, before we go, I do want to remind all my friends out there in Newsmax land that uh, if you didn't get your daily dose of Johnny Tobacco just yet today from 5 to 7, and thanks to the team for having me tonight on the count as a guest host, you got to tune in tonight at 10 p.m. Mix yourself up a cold cocktail. Put on your seatbelt, strap in, because we're talking about January 6th with a criminal defense attorney, Joe McBride, who represents some of them, and we're talking about these crazy vaccine mandates, and we took it right to Albany and Kathy Hochul herself. You don't want to miss it tonight at 10 Wise Guys. Uh, please tune in. Until then, you have yourself a great Saturday night and a great weekend. That's all from you. Have a great night.